Happy blessed to you all on this Sunday, April 24th. It is time for your daily devotion, the word for you today. We have Monitor Your Mind, part two, and the scripture is 1 Corinthians 2, verse 16. We have the mind of Christ. There is a natural mindset and there is a spiritual mindset. To live victoriously, you must develop a spiritual mindset. The Bible says, the person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God and cannot understand them because they are spiritually discerned. But we have the mind of Christ, 1 Corinthians 2, 14 and 16. As you program your life in accordance with God's word and consciously submit yourself to do his will every day, he will plant his thoughts in your mind. What an advantage. For example, someone criticizes you and your feelings get hurt. In that moment, the Lord speaks to you and says, yes, your feelings are hurt, but part of it is just wounded vanity and we can deal with that. I love you despite all your junk. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We got junk, don't we? Your standing with me isn't at risk. The person who criticized you may see a flaw. But nobody thinks you're perfect anyway, and it's better not to have to pretend. Amen. Here is a chance to grow. Use it. Even though there are elements of pain in these kinds of thoughts, instead of paralyzing you, they energize you. They're true. They give you ground to stand on, and you realize that if you can keep your mind centered on them, the right feelings and actions are more likely to flow from them. Now you're starting to live out the promise. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee, Isaiah 26 and 3. Instead of focusing on your critics, focus on God, on your spiritual growth, and on what you can learn from the experience. There you have it. And that is also very true in ministry <laughs> for those of you out there. So yes, just uh, focus on God. There's always going to be haters, but you know, turn it into a positive. At least they're, they're noticing you. So people are watching. So you just never know. You can't please everybody. So don't even try. Um, just, you know, worry about what God says about you and what he thinks and the rest will take care of itself. So God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday and we'll see you tomorrow.